Over here on WCHS Channel 8 Eyewitness News comes word of a horrific accident that happened yesterday evening. West Virginia State Police have released the names of three people who were killed in a crash on I-77. James W. Platt, 49, of Westphalia, Michigan. Tanya Platt, 38, of Westphalia, Michigan. And Beatrice Patrick, 77 years old, of Salyersville, of Salyersville, Kentucky, were killed in a three-vehicle crash near the Sharon exit of the West Virginia Turnpike. The release from state police said that Patrick, Beatrice Patrick, the 77-year-old lady, was driving a Chevy Malibu, was driving a Chevy Malibu northbound in the southbound lanes of I-77 at a high rate of speed and struck a Buick sedan that was being driven by James and Tanya Platt. They were all three pronounced dead at the scene of the crash. After being struck, the Buick was sent off the road and struck a box truck that was in the process of being towed. The driver of that truck was identified as Jordan Napoleon 40 of Greer, South Carolina. Jordan Napoleon was taken to CAMC General Hospital to be treated for minor injuries. Now this crash remains under investigation and even more so because the responding volunteer fire department and even more so because the responding volunteer fire department was in a horrific crash of their own on their way to that triple fatality. So the triple fatality happens, the call goes out, and the volunteer fire department responds. And they get out there. They're in their fire truck on the way to the scene on I-77 there. When they themselves are involved in a horrific crash that kills two on board and critically injuring the other three. I shit you not. The firefighters were on their way to that accident on I-77 at about 5.30 p.m. Saturday, March 24th, 2018, when their truck struck a rock face on the side of this road. Firefighters were on the truck during the accident. The Pratt Volunteer Fire Department confirmed two firefighters were killed in the crash. The three other firefighters, including the fire chief, were injured. Fire Chief Timothy Walker remains in the intensive care unit. Our hearts go out to Timothy Walker and his family. We hope that he makes a fast recovery. Bill Hypes is in stable condition, and we certainly hope that he makes a fast and speedy recovery as well. And a third volunteer firefighter has been released from the hospital with a broken arm. Kanawha County Commission President Kent Carper released the following statement, saying that he believes that saying, of course, that, is, that their thoughts and prayers are with the families of all those involved in those accidents and that he believes it's the worst accident involving their fire department ever. A fund has been set up to help the families of the firefighters who were involved in the crash. As of now, the fund is only accepting checks that are made out to the Pratt Volunteer Fire Department, and those checks can be dropped off at Pratt City Hall or mailed to P.O. Box 128 Pratt, West Virginia, 25162. I'm not covering this horrific accident to sensationalize it, 
but to honor the firefighters and to give sympathies to the victims and their families. This has been Meet the People Perspectives. Break this news.